Hurricane season can be nerve-wracking for communities along the coast. An average season produces more than a dozen storms, each one a potential hazard for land. However, hurricane forecasts are more accurate today than ever before. So how exactly do forecasters know exactly where a hurricane will go? Dennis Mercereau joins us to help break this down. Folks, did you know that a hurricane can actually be steered? Let's talk about this first though, Dennis, because weaker and stronger storms can actually move in different directions. Is that correct? That's exactly right. Uh, the path of a hurricane is determined by the environmental winds around the storm and the intensity of a storm can actually play a big role as well. A weak storm is less robust around the center of the system. The thunderstorms are less robust. They're not quite as tall, so they're tapping into lower level wind shear in the atmosphere, which might, for instance, send them off to the west. A stronger storm, for instance, might tap into a deeper layer of wind shear through the atmosphere, which means that it could travel to the northwest, for instance. So as forecasters are trying to determine the track of a storm, they also have to take into account the intensity because a storm traveling to the west versus the northwest might mean the difference between making landfall and curving safely out to sea. Hmm. Let's talk a little bit about the Bermuda High next. How does this sprawling feature influence the track of hurricanes? The Bermuda High is an ever-present ridge of high pressure over the central Atlantic Ocean, and as tropical waves roll off the coast of Africa, they're taking trade winds that blow from east to west. But eventually they're going to start to recurve out to sea, and this ridge of high pressure acts like a guardrail that prevents these storms from immediately recurving out to sea. A stronger and more resilient ridge of high pressure will force these storms to travel farther and farther west into the Caribbean, toward the Gulf of Mexico, and possibly into the United States or into Canada while a weaker ridge of high pressure will allow these storms to safely recurve out to sea, posing a threat to only ships or airplanes. So forecasters very closely monitor where these uh, ridges of high pressure are going to set up and how strong they're going to be because they can completely determine the track of a storm as it's heading across the Atlantic Ocean. Hmm, now the Bermuda High isn't the only player on the block. What other features can push and pull on a hurricane? That's right. Forecasters are always looking at different highs and lows around the ocean and around North America. Uh, if there's a ridge of high pressure parked over the United States, over Atlantic Canada, or even over Greenland, it can force these storms to stall, uh, which we saw with Hurricane Harvey back in 2017 when the hurricane made it moved through the Gulf of Mexico and it made landfall in Texas and then stalled out. And it just sat there and rained and rained over the Houston area for days on end. And it caused these historic flooding issues across the area. So we can see storms stall because of these ridges of high pressure over, you know, the United States and Canada. And we can also see troughs of low pressure as well. These troughs can swing over New England, they can swing over Atlantic Canada, and they can cause real issues with the track of a storm. We saw this happen with Hurricane Sandy in 2012 as the storm was starting to recurve out to sea. A trough picked up the storm and hooked it back into New England and it hit New Jersey and it caused all these problems in New York and beyond. And we also saw the same thing happen with Hurricane Fiona when it approached Atlantic Canada. A trough picked it up and pulled it back into Nova Scotia and the Maritimes, and it caused significant wind and flooding issues across the region as well. Wow, all these moving parts make for a high stakes forecast. How can folks stay prepared at home? The greatest tool you can always use to stay prepared is to stay abreast of the forecast. Uh, these, uh, the forecasters issue uh, watches and warnings and forecasts every day and they're always keeping tabs on these storms. You can also prepare for evacuations and power outages in your hometown. It doesn't matter how far inland you are, the remnants of a storm can also push far inland and bring wind, flooding and tornadoes to your community. Okay, stay prepared and keep it locked here for the latest on any active weather.